Welcome to the Merch Minds Podcast, where we discuss everything about the merch by Amazon business in the print on demand industry. Here are your hosts, Glenn and Young. Welcome, everybody, to the Merch Minds Podcast, episode number 43. My name is Glenn. This is Young, and we have another episode for you. Episode 43. Hello, yeah. everyone. <laughs> kind of How's it going, man? Quick. I know. Good, good. And numbers have increased. Numbers. Too, but we're going to yeah, get into that. Yeah, we're going to get into numbers. But as always, uh, we want to mention today's sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Word Candy. Good keywords are important for us to help improve ourselves on Amazon. With Word Candy, you get strategic keywords with Amazon Auto Suggest and Google Search Engine Traffic. Word Candy also checks for trademark words, which helps us protect our Merch by Amazon accounts, which is really important. Uh, it will save you a lot of time because you're no longer going back and forth between browser tabs. And if that's not enough, you get a free account for your VA. Check them out at wordcandy.io. Again, that's wordcandy.io. You get a free three-day trial, and after that, it's just 19 99 per month word free? candy free free no i said three free <laughs> oh, three okay. days free, free. now you got me all confused oh, okay yeah that was that <laughs> you, was... Get a, you get a free three-day trial <laughs> okay cool that was that was a tough read that was a tough one but uh <laughs> how's it going man uh good merch uh i've seen a good increase. I mean, we're not back to our normal selves yet, but I have seen a really good increase since August started. So we're only like three days in. <laughs> hey, you know, you know, you know what I'm noticing. What I'm noticing, I'm, I'm, no, I'm noticing a trend here, and I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm not accusing you of anything, but I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm noticing a trend here. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm noticing every time my numbers go down. Your numbers go down. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Every time my numbers go up, your number goes up. Okay. Are you copycatting my shirts, man? Or what's the deal? <laughs> uh, I would if I could, if I could find your shirt. I think that would really, really help me because you're finding, uh, you're doing uh, unique uh, what designs and your own personal stuff. In my case, I'm just kind of like rushing through uh, getting these simple text-based ones out of there. So, um. Yeah, if I if I could find your shirts, I mean, unless you want to send me okay. a link or something, well, maybe I will. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but you said your 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 numbers are coming back up, huh? Yeah, they're they're slowly creeping back up, um, which is good. Uh, but like I said, I think the last one, the last show, a lot of the designs that are selling are the newer ones that I've been posting. And we talked about this with the uh, rules for rebels. When I was talking about um, designs, maybe the last month, month and a half, those are the ones that are selling the most. And a lot of the older ones haven't really been selling like they used to. They're kind of slowly not dying out, but just nowhere near the numbers they used to. Do. And then just the new ones have been really, really good for me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but, but that's fine with me, but I want to get some of those older ones, maybe try to get those back up or something. Yeah. yeah okay. So, uh, so give us some numbers here. Okay. So do we talk about July, like the full July numbers? Cause I don't even think I, I mean, we're not going to know, I guess, officially until Amazon gives those, but I think we had like a rough, do we have a rough estimate? I guess what we thought. I mean, I, I sent out my monthly income report. Oh, okay. Um, but I kind of keep that exclusive for the people uh, that okay. subscribe. Yeah, we, so, yeah, we don't have to I mean, talk I, about I, that. I mean, I, I give my weekly report here, but I give okay. them, um, and I'd rather keep it that way because people that sign up get the full income report. Yeah, yeah totally. I totally agree. <laughs> yeah, exclusive info from Young. That's right. <laughs> um, so, uh, last seven days, um, I think the last, probably the last month, like the last four weeks that we've done these like last seven days, um, I'm roughly like 700 to 800 range. And, and now the last, uh, even then, I think July 30th, um, from then on, I've seen an increase in numbers. So uh, right now, 184 products sold. Um, estimated royalties, I'm at 958. And 
And um, it's been kind of in between like the 950 to 1000 range. So um, it has gone up compared to like the 760 to like 850 range that I was doing last month. So, okay. Wait a minute. Hey, do you have your exact numbers for July? And the only reason I'm asking is because I know you, you probably thought I forgot. We have a little wager going on. Remember? The loser uh, for July is gonna buy one of us a drink. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I don't have those, but I, I'd have to. I'd have to do it. But okay, should we just wait until the official Amazon payout comes out? Or sure, we can do that. Because <laughs> I really, I mean, I could try to. No, you know, no, no. We'll, we'll wait till the payout. We'll wait till the payout. Okay. So okay. it sounds like sounds like your numbers are uh, yeah. getting better yeah um, i think yesterday i sold like 30 something again which is back that 30 like 30 to 35 is was like the strong point when i was going for like what four or five six months and, yeah, uh, and then yeah. of course it went down the last two um but like today i've sold like 20 so far yesterday okay. I sold like 30 something so if we can get back up to that 25 to 30 range i mean that would really really be good because last month it was just horrid compared to last month was garbage um <laughs> and, and i'll give out some numbers i just won't go into detail but um yeah so i mean i'm pretty much in the same boat as you like last month was just just garbage man it was horrible i mean it's still good money i'm not gonna lie but compared to what i did in june um it was just i mean in june i did forty five hundred dollars yeah. and then in july i did uh just a little over thirty nine hundred. Yeah. So that's you know, that's a fifteen hundred dollar difference. Yeah. Um so that's and that's a lot of money. But um but you know, I've I've noticed since August first, like you said, things have been picking up. Uh on the first, um I sold thirty shirts. Um then yesterday I sold twenty. Today I sold nine so far and it's just a little past five o'clock. Um, ho so hopefully I have another uh, 15, 20 shirts, uh, you know, day today. Um, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so things are looking a little better. Um, but I mean, last week, man, and you and I were talking, I s there was one day where I sold like four shirts in one day. I know you're I haven't, pissed. I, I haven't seen numbers like that since like I was on the 25 tier seriously <laughs> four shirts in one day and then after that there was uh, I had a seven shirts day where I just sold seven shirts and it was just I was like what is going on I mean like I said back in May I was doing like 30 40 a day and I'm just like oh yeah man this is awesome and man <laughs> but so uh, what do your last seven days look like as far as like products sold and uh, royalties yeah uh, last seven days 113 shirts um my royalties is 746 dollars and 37 cents okay so there we go and and uh pretty impressive for like 113 because i know we talked about uh i guess price wise because i have a lot of just like text-based ones that are really really cheap i mean not cheap to where it's like 10 to 12 bucks i mean i'm still making that i have these between like 15 to 17 range mm -hmm. but um so you're selling quite a bit my, of like 19.99 ones or what yeah my, my lowest okay. price point is 17.99 i don't oh, go okay. anything below that oh okay okay so yeah that's a, that's a big difference there but yeah, at least um, but i mean let's let's see what happens i think august is really going to be a good month so let's Let's just keep on going and see these. Are, are you uploading? How many are you uploading per day? Three. Three. Okay. Um, I, I know I did three yesterday. Um, haven't done any yet as of today. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll probably get a couple of done before before the before the day's over. Okay. And right now, um, today's the third. So it's the first preseason football game. Don't let football distract you from making money on merch because i know it's gonna be tough from here on out sundays Wait, football who's day playing? who's playing uh today it's cardinals and cowboys for uh i think the hall of fame game okay and um <laughs> it's kind of funny because like i used to just like man sundays were like pure football and then once i got really into of course growing youtube and ebay and all this i was like man how much 
I, I just started to like record games, watch once in a while. And then I was like, man, I have like so much stuff to do. And, mm-hmm. and um, so two things. Yeah. Number one, don't let football take over because it can easily happen. <laughs> That's what football does. And number two, try to get in some football shirts in there. Not on teams, of course, but man, football really. Hey, you you, you want to hear something funny? Yeah. Uh, like I don't, I think I've mentioned this before. Like I don't own a television. I don't watch television. And there's only two, two times out of the year that I, that I watch television. Okay. Is when Walking Dead is on and during football season. Okay. And football season, I swear, man, it's like you said, man, I just, I can't get anything done during Sundays, <laughs> especially when the 49ers are playing. Um, I'm just, you know, I, I, I get really into the game. And for those of you guys that don't know, I'm a huge, huge 49er fan. Um, and like my friends refuse to watch the games with me because I just get too loud and, you know, uh, I just get crazy. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so. Um, and, you know, I talk about me. Uh, having gone back to college um, later in my life, and it was just, gosh, it was just like like just god awful during football season, like having to do projects when I'm trying to watch the game. Right? It's just, uh. um, but yeah. So um, it'll be interesting oh, this yeah, year to sure. see to see how I do on merch with the football <laughs> season coming up. <laughs> I know that's what I hate about it too is like so many commercials, the actual gameplay. You know, like you could just watch this and forward through it, and I'm like, man, I'm tired of commercials. When it, that's the only thing that kind of turns me off when it comes to football stuff. So many ads. Um, imagine how many shirts you can get done per commercial break. That's but what you, you know really what? Do. With all those commercials, you can probably get some good ideas too. Yeah, that is true. I'm trying to make uh, trying to make the best Seriously. of everything. Unless yeah. you're drinking and then you just forget. Oh <laughs> man, yeah, that's unfortunately one of my problems. <laughs> I drink a little too much beer during football season. Um, <laughs> so there you go. There's one niche: beer and football combined. There you go. There yeah. you go. So you want to tell um, everybody about our guest? Yeah, but before we do, I got a couple oh. of couple of announcements. Okay. Um, you know, our our uh, Facebook group has been growing significantly, and you know, Glenn and I were 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 just grateful for everyone. But we've noticed. Oh, you damn spammers. We've noticed we've been getting a lot of spammers coming into the group, trying to sell their products and services, and sometimes they're pushing products that has nothing to do with merch. You damn spammers, you. Uh, So what we did was we now added a question. Uh, So if you want to join the group, you have to answer a question. So that way uh, we know that you're legit. so that's one announcement and uh second announcement again we have (laughs) here's the funny thing you and i were talking uh and obviously we're going to be talking about our denver uh meetup here um this is the funniest thing like we have no idea what to call it like at first we said a meetup and then you were like oh well meetup is something that's done kind of casually yeah kind of like chilling Right, and then we're going to call it a conference, but it's not really a conference because it's not like we're, you know, it's, I mean, we're going to do, like, presentations, but it's not like a really, it's not really a conference, right? Yeah. So so we're like, well, what the heck are we going to call it? So you suggested, well, let's call it the Merch Minds Seminar. Yeah. Which I'm like, okay, well, we can call it the seminar. Um, so regardless, wh- whatever the hell we call it, uh, we're, 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 we're going to be in Denver um, in October, I can't remember the damn date on the top of my head. Um, <laughs> October seventh. October seventh. Um, the seventh is when we'll have the official uh, meetup, seminar. conference, seminar, whatever you want to call it. Um, you do have to register for it, but it's not much. It's sixty dollars per person. In fact, Glenn and I, we are not making any money off of this. In fact, we're losing money. Uh, because lunch will be provided for the people attending. Um, uh, we just want to really just get out there and um, interact with you guys and meet some of the people within the community. Um, so, once it's done, uh, you can hang out with Young and watch football or something. Uh, we can watch football. We, we can watch football, definitely. And, um, and, we'll, and if you can't attend, if you can't afford 
to attend a Saturday uh, uh, seminar. I mean, we'll have social events um, leading up to it and, and afterwards that you can come and check out and hang out with us. Um, so yeah, so those are the two announcements. Um, today's guest, yeah, so uh, this guy, yo, <laughs> man. He he uh, he was supposed to come on months ago, like back when we first started the podcast, right? Yes, sir. And and, and you know, and and I say this in a joking way because I actually know him. He's he's a really good friend of ours. Um, but he's been having some internet issues where where for some reason he's he's always getting knocked off. You know, he's always getting, you know, his, his internet's always dropping. Um, and like we were literally. In the middle of a show, interviewing, and his and his internet went down. So we so we never had so we never uh, 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 published that particular episode. But he's back. Uh, <laughs> his internet's working. Uh, Mr. Joe Clay, he's on YouTube uh, as Merch University. Uh, has a Facebook group as well called Merch University. Really excited that he's finally here. We're gonna to talk to Joe Clay, and he's gonna talk about how he does his designs, all from an app on his phone. Yes, sir. All from app design. So if you're kind of overwhelmed with Illustrator and Photoshop and all that stuff, then this interview is for you because now you're gonna hear what apps he uses and how he can upload designs straight from his phone. Well, we have another guest, and here's the funny thing. This guy was supposed to come on the show a long time ago. He was on the show, and I'm going to call him out on this one. For some reason, he's always having internet problems. I, I don't know what it is, but he's here today. I think his internet's good to go. I think he's paid his bills. <laughs> Mr. Joe Clay, <laughs> a.k.a. Yo, yo. AKA Merch University. I just subscribed to your channel. My man, how you been? Oh man, I'm doing great. I'm excited to be on the show today. I've been looking forward to it all week long. So yeah, okay. no more no more internet issues. Yeah, man. You were supposed to be like one of our first guests back, I know. back yeah. late last year and you forgot to pay your bill. Something happened and uh, you got kicked off. I told myself, you know what? I better let them build this their group up, their audience up, and then I'll come do the headline show. You know. Yeah, okay. So okay. So you're doing <laughs> us a favor now, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Joe, why don't you let the uh, kind people know who you are? Tell them about your channel, uh, and uh, um, let us know uh, what tier you're at, and uh, and what your numbers are like. Okay. Um, my name is Joe Clay. I uh, currently run the Merch University Facebook group, and I also uh, do um, a daily merch vlog on my YouTube channel on Merch University. Uh, let's see here. I am at the thousand tier. Um, last month, I had my highest sales of uh, 179 shirt sales, not profit-wise. It was like around 500, you know, but um, I've so far, I've sold 850 shirts total. And um, this month, I'm looking to sell 150 more so I can get to the 1,000 sales and hopefully tear up to 2,000, which is my goal I set for myself for the year 2017. Man, this guy has goals. He has, he's, he has missions to accomplish. I like it, man. I like <laughs> it. Yes, sir. So, Joe, when did you join uh, Merch? I joined Merch um, last year. Uh, I probably signed up in fe February. I think it's February, February, March, April, May. Yeah, Feb and uh, and I got accepted in May, so it took me four months to get in. So I've been in, you know, a year and a couple months. So, yeah. Did you uh, wait patiently, or did you uh, keep sending them requests every week or something? You know what? I really didn't know a lot about merch, and so I mean, I knew it was something to get into. And I would when I would check frequently, I really wasn't anxious about it because I really didn't know much about it and because there was no talk about it I wasn't really worried about it so when I got when I got it I was excited so let's just say that okay Very nice. so now did you uh, I think I know the answer to this but um, just to let the listeners know did you have 
any design experience beforehand? I did not have any design experience. Well, no, I, I make uh, flyers for, uh, I made flyers before online with, and I did have used Illustrator, I have used InDesign and Photoshop. So I did have a little bit background um, in that, so. Okay, but so, and, and, and um, so, so no design experience. So, so you pretty much taught yourself how to design as you went along, because from my understanding, you do most of your designs, yes? Yes, I do all of my designs currently. You do all of your designs, so, so you're pretty much self-taught. My man, let me applaud you, because, you know, this is something Glenn and I have been uh, uh, preaching to everyone, and you are a prime example of what everyone should be doing, teaching yourself how to use Illustrator, uh, uh, Photoshop, whatever you guys want to use. Um, no excuses. He just went out and did it. That's right. Wow. That's awesome, man. Well, here's the thing, Young, that we also are going to talk about with our guest, is that besides Illustrator, Photoshop, some of that stuff, he also has created a lot of his own designs on his phone. So that's and there's why nothing makes, wrong, and, and there's nothing wrong with no, that. No, that's what makes this interview different because most of the people that we have talked to, you know, they've gone through hiring designers or, you know, going through uh, learning Illustrator, Photoshop, all this stuff. But creating it on your phone, you know, he doesn't have to go through his laptop or desktop to make a lot of these designs. And they've been selling 500 plus profit, right, Joe? Yes, exactly. And a lot of stuff during the phone, through the phone. So I think that that's like really, really good. What I want to talk about too, especially for the listeners that are maybe like a little stuck, maybe like, you know what? I'm a little overwhelmed with Illustrator and Photoshop and a little scared. What can I do on my phone? So Joe, uh, how many different apps do you use? Like two or three? Yeah, or... I use, um, currently I use three. I use about three, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So which, which three do you use? Oh, yeah. go ahead, I Dan. use the, the over app. I use this new um, app I got called Vintage Designs, and sometimes I would use Word Swag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how I, does I, it? I, I know about Word Swag. Um, I'm sorry, Clint. Go no, ahead. I guess I was gonna ask. Like, so how is it with using their um, like fonts, or can you use graphics or anything as far as like commercial use, or what are their rules when it comes to any of this stuff? Um, I would say with um, actually with the Over app, you can actually use their fonts. And um, you can actually buy their, they have a little package, but I, I don't subscribe to their package, actually. Um, you can use their fonts, and I think it says you can use them, and you can sell a product up to, like, 400 times. So if you made a shirt, you can sell it up to 400 times, but then you would probably need to buy their um, extended package, you know, their oh, okay. package or whatever. Wait a minute. Rewind. Uh, say that again. So if you use the Over app... Yeah. You can use the design 400 times, and then after the 400th time, what happens? You need to buy, like, the extended license, pretty much. Okay, okay, I got you. I yeah, got you, if, you read their, uh, sir, if you read their um, their services and stuff, it, it'll tell you. Okay, I got you. No, I, 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 uh, I was thinking of something else, but no, that, that, that makes sense. So, dude, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I love everything that you're doing because, again, uh, uh, you're a good example of someone who doesn't make excuses and, you know, Chris, Chris Green said it the best, right? No one is ever born a designer, right? Glenn was never born a graphic designer. I Out was of the never, womb. Right? <laughs> I was <laughs> never born a graphic designer. Like, we went to school, you know, we, we learned and everything, and, and obviously you're doing the same thing, but you're now messing with various apps and all that. Um, so I think that's awesome. I think you're a good example um, for the community. Um, now, out of those apps, which one do you prefer using the most? I like the Over app because you can um, import your own fonts from. So I use thefont.com, and I'll you know get the hundred percent free the free uh, fonts, and you pretty much can do that on your phone. Find find the own the fonts that you want and then push download and then like automatically imports it right there to over. So it's great, you know, just instant. So and would phone. you say like the learning curve is like pretty tough for someone to just download the app and start creating their own designs? Like, is it, is it tough for a newbie or? I would say it's pretty uh, fairly simple to anybody can use. 
Okay, nice. What kind Everybody of phone do you have? Phone? Everybody's on, I have an iPhone SE. Okay. Yeah. And does it take a lot of, I guess when you save your design, so how does it import, I guess, to like a transparent PNG or how does it work exactly when yeah. it goes to your phone? When you save it, it has an option to save it as a PNG and it saves it to your camera roll. And actually, oh, it actually, hold on, let me go back and ah. say something. Let me go back and say it lets you put 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 in the merch dimensions forty five hundred by fifty four hundred. It lets you put that in. So okay, okay, cool. So saves it transparent PNG into your camera roll, and then do you email it? I guess to yourself I, to upload it on a desktop, or can you do it on the phone too? When I first started, I was email them to myself. <laughs> <laughs> then I would go on my desktop, open my email, download, and then upload. Okay, I did. That's what I used to do. Okay. I, finally, I went to uh, I would just went to Amazon.com on my phone. Uh -huh. I signed in, was on my phone, went to the upload button right there, uploaded the design. But I figured out when you got to the end, once you once you did everything, the bullet points, title, blah blah, picked out your shirts. When mm -hmm. you got to the end to like sell it, you couldn't do it. Like it wouldn't <laughs> let you. Like Safari wouldn't let you. But um, let right after that i um i'm friends with that uh, jacob topping he came out with his book um mm -hmm. in his book i'm allowed to say this but he he tells you that there's another app called the puffin app puffin browser okay and if you use the that puff browser, daddy app what puffin it's puffin like the bird <laughs> oh i thought you said the puff daddy app p-u-f-f-i-n so okay <laughs> by using that app in their browser you can do the you can do the whole process pretty much so yeah you can so what is upload. that? The Puffin app. What is it? Yeah, it's like a free browser app you can use. Okay, so it's just and, another um, browser for the iPhone. Yeah, so, for the iPhone. So pretty much what I do now is like, if I want to do everything on my phone, I'll put it on the Safari app and do everything that needs to be done. Then I'll save it as a draft. And then if I really want to upload it right there and say I'm out and about, not at home, not going to be at home, and I really want to upload that shirt, I'll go to the Puffin app. I'll do good. All you have to do, you know, it's already in the draft mode. You just kind of skip through through the end and then i'll push sell and upload and that's it man it's a lot it's gonna be live and you know soon it gets processed so yep okay okay so how much is the over app um when i got it it was free and so i don't know i think it might cost now but i'm not totally for sure so but if it does it's not very much i think it might be like five dollars yeah is it a subscription or is it a one-time one-time fee I think it's just a one-time fee if it is if there is one, but I'm not for sure now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And and then um, you said if you sell 400, then you have to pay for the extended license. How much is an extended license on over? I think it's uh, their package is. Uh, I think it's like a hundred dollars for the year. I think. No, it's not bad at all. Okay, but so, I mean, so, so, so it makes sense because um, I mean. By by the time you sold four hundred shirts, you've made more than enough money anyway to cover that extended license, right? Of course, yeah. So okay, you know what kind of what they kind of do that on is like um, like stock photos. Like I think iStock photos they have because I was doing some covers for some people like for Kindle and like it's only good for exactly like you said four hundred. Like if you sell, I think theirs might be even like less, like. 250 or 300 book sales or something and then you have to buy the extended license for that picture that you're going to use for the cover and it's like an insane price too it's like 350 yeah. bucks or something like just for that one photo for like yeah extended license for it like but but so so here's the thing i mean but this is this is where i'm always confused like uh how do they how do they police something like that right <laughs> so for instance like over and an i stock photo like like, how do they know that you sold like your 400th design, or do they just go by the honor system? I think it uh, you goes by the honor system, and hopefully, if you're in this business, that you're doing what's right. Hopefully, you know. Well, you would think that people would be honest about it, but you'd be very surprised, man. And I know sometimes people just forget, you know, kind of like me. But um, <laughs> I can probably I'm, see I'm, you forgetting more than more than not being honest. You're like, yeah. No, Why did but I buy this again? yeah, but 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 you would think, um, but you would think at some point, especially in a business that can be lucrative, um, um, that you would start keeping track of it better, right? Like I know I would, um, but but interesting. interesting. Well, here, here, I, I, here, here's a here's a question to go along with that. Uh, 
what how many of one design what's the most of that one design that you've sold have you even sold 400 of one design before me you asking yeah. me yeah yeah you personally oh gosh yeah and I, I mean i have one shirt that just blew up and is still selling to this day um i can't even tell you how, how many i've sold over definitely, 400 definitely over 400 but it's an original design see but i mean I, so you you know that design's popular you know it blew over 100. So if if you if you're an honest person and you think you're gonna forget, if your shirt is blowing up over four hundred, you're definitely probably gonna remember like, oh crap, I need to I would pay definitely that go money. Back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would definitely go back and do the math. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to pay that design. I mean, like I have one shirt and it's uh, so out of the hundred eight hundred and fifty sales that I have, I have one shirt and that's probably sold a hundred and seventy times, and I know that you know for sure. So mm -hmm. nice. And would you say so? Most of your, most of your designs are they? Uh, text-based or can you import graphics do they have graphics you can use or how does that work they have like like I said if you buy their um, package they have like a whole graphics like in there that you can use so yeah. okay have you used but, oh so you don't have the extended but so most of yours I guess are text-based then yeah mine are I might just try to make it the coolest text-based stuff I can make you know okay but then what if what if you want to use your own graphics? Yeah, you can import though. You can import your own graphics. Like okay. say, like say, I use um, Illustrator and I make like a cool graphic or whatever. I or whatever. I can throw it in there and bring it to the over app and make it there. You know, whatever. But if if I'm making a cool graphic in the Illustrator, I might just do, do, probably do the whole design. You might as well just finish it in Illustrator. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, that, gonna, that's, that's I'm not gonna. Point. I'm not gonna move it over. So yeah. <laughs> Okay. And so have you gone back to Illustrator or do a little bit of both or it's pretty much like, you know what, this phone thing has been working for me. I'm just going all out on the phone designs. Sometimes I'll do Illustrator just because um, I don't always, always want to do it on my phone and I can do everything faster on, on the computer and stuff. So yeah. I can just Plus you don't want to, you don't want to disappoint young. So yeah, yeah you, exactly. don't want, you don't want to disappoint me, man. You know, I, I do a lot of trash talking on the show. Um, you know, you don't want to disappoint me. I know this. We came to just have a happy-go-lucky show, so yeah, yeah. yeah we don't want Young going off or anything. Yeah, no, I, I actually, I actually know Joe for what for about three years now. Cool guy, man. And Joe, you know what? You know what? Let, and let's we, 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 we're completely changing the topic here. <laughs> just, just for the record, Joe, you've known me for about three, four years now. Yeah. Uh, the little rants and the stuff that I do, I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna admit. It's off for entertainment. I don't really talk like this. These guys know <laughs> behind <he> closed doors. <laughs> These guys right. know that behind closed doors, I'm 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 actually uh, a lot calmer than I am on the show. Gentlemen, is, let me um, let me let, let me share like just one quick story. Sure. Um, first time I met Young, it was at a um, a meetup in Austin, and um, you know he, he pretty much just met me. We were at this place called I think it was called Joe's Coffee in Austin in Congress. And um, I was in line to get a drink because we were all there, you know, just getting like coffee. They have like coffee and just, you know, kind of snacks there. He, um, young, first time I really met him, he bought me my lunch, my drink, you know. And so just right away, right off the bat when I met him. And so I was like, man, this guy's like a, like a big brother, you know, and he was just a cool guy. And I, I just couldn't believe that he went out of his way. He didn't even know me and he bought me my lunch. So I thought that was cool. I don't remember that. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I remember being there. I don't remember buying you lunch, but wow, okay. That sandwich is gone, bro. <laughs> oh man, okay. Well, let, well, let, well, let's let's get back on track. Let's talk about you. So, um, so now are you, you're, you said you're using Illustrator. Yeah. Are you using Photoshop? And and I know uh, you're 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 on the show with Margaret um, every week. Are you using PicMonkey and and any of those other apps? Uh, I I have PicMonkey, but I haven't been using that much. And I'm not, I don't really use Photoshop. I probably would, if I, uh, of all the things, I'd probably use Illustrator and then my phone. Yeah, the most. Okay, so then, so, so, so then, so then I have a question for you then. So you, you're using Illustrator, you export your design as a PNG. How do you resize a PNG then? Because you're obviously not using uh, Photoshop. From uh, on the phone or what? No, on, on your on your on your computer. So you export your design from Illustrator as yeah. a PNG. Yeah. Um, and when you export it, it's never forty five hundred by fifty four hundred pixels. So what do you resize it in? 
You don't have to resize it. I always put it uh, 15 by 18. Okay, well then you guys are probably doing it a lot different than I am. Because yeah. when I export it, I always have to resize it in Photoshop. No, I never, uh, I just export it. I always sign it up as 15 by 18 and then that's, and then it's ready. When I'm done, it's ready, so. Okay, okay. Um, is there, um, is there other, other apps that you're uh, experimenting with that we should know about? Uh, currently, right now, no. I would say probably the last hundred designs I've put up have been all from my phone, probably, I would say that. So that's amazing, see, I mean, I, like, like I, I, like me, you know, I'll check my email. I'll, I'll, I'll obviously text, um, you know, I'll, I'll do the whole Facebook thing on my smartphone. Like, I don't know if I can ever design anything on my phone. So I just find that really fascinating. I don't know, Glenn, I mean, like, you think you can do something like that? I mean, if the day is right, I just ate Taco Bell. I'm going to sit in the can for a little bit. <laughs> Might as well start making some designs. Like you wow. never know. Like <laughs> wow, you never PMI, know. PMI this show is going red. in a completely <laughs> different direction, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The show is now officially over. Uh, Joe, it's been a pleasure having you. I think, I think when you guys look at it from a graphic design standpoint, it's like, what? What are you talking about? That's like I guess that's like, true. Yeah, like, well, that's a good point. Here, good I'll, point. I'll kind of flip it. Like I do like video production and stuff. That'd be like if someone was like, oh, man, I'm going to – I've been – Joe, you, what have you been using? I'm like, oh, I've been using Final Cut Pro and all these fancy programs. I go, I go, what are you using? They're like, oh, man, I'm just – I'm using my phone, my editor on my phone. And I'm, I'm like, dude, that's kind of weird. I would probably never do that, you know. <laughs> but me coming from not a graphic when I see the – you know, well, n another, another thing that really intrigues me is I've always been – interested in doing a business on my phone like i could do everything from my phone that's always interests me so when i figured the whole thing out where i could uh make everything on my phone that was like huge for me so and and you know what um i'll be honest with you i don't think we're too far away from that happening i think uh as technology evolves um i think we're getting to the point where all of us uh at some point can efficiently run any kind of business uh, from our smartphone. I really do believe that. Yeah. And, uh, no, I, I honestly believe that. Um, you know what would be really cool, Joe? If so. Amazon came out with an app for merch. Kind of like what they did for FBA, right? I've asked them. They haven't done it yet, though. <laughs> what do you mean you asked him? What, would you call Jeff Bezos? <laughs> <laughs> you know when they send out those surveys? Oh. There, yeah. <laughs> They're like they leave like a spot open to ask anything. So I'm of like, course. you guys need an app. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they they need to train their workers. I mean, there's some of them that don't even know merch exists. I'm pretty exactly. sure. Exactly. Exactly. On the Amazon team. Mm -hmm. So they need to be training on that. So Joe, uh, I didn't know this uh, uh, up in, until what yesterday or a couple of days ago when you and I were were uh, chatting on Facebook. You have your own Facebook group, huh? Yeah, I do. Um, here, can, can I let me get, break that story down? Okay, yeah. when I when I started a year ago, um, you know, I was part of the I'm part of the green room group, and uh, the only really the only person I knew that do, did merch was Glenn, pretty much. And so uh, there was no there was no groups really out there, no no merch group. So like, I created a special group for the green room and i was getting members in there but we probably only had like 10 members in there and it was probably like mainly me and glenn talking the whole time so uh <laughs> <laughs> pretty much l later on i created i was like man i need to i got inspired to like take merch on a bigger level so that's how uh i cre it was probably like right after merch minds was created i created merch university just like right pretty much back to back almost so and I, I want to talk about like Merch University, but right before that, you did sell, or are you still selling like on other platforms like FBA or eBay or how did, because yeah, you were doing, I mean, s selling on, on other platforms too, right? Before. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was, I was selling on there and um, it's, it was, it's from the, I have a full-time job and from like a sourcing standpoint, I was so hard to do sourcing. So when Merch came around, I could do that on my phone, on my computer. So 
Yeah. I kind of right now I would say 90% of everything is merch related just because I got, I'm tiered up now to like the thousand tier and I've like, it's just taking all my time. So I would yeah. say no time really. Maybe like one day is related to maybe like FBA and eBay. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that, that's really good. I, I think that's pretty much the same for all of us here. Uh, I know Glenn and I, uh, we both uh, said that our um, side hustles as far as reselling has gone down significantly i know glenn you're you're a little more active on ebay though but as far as fba um we really really cut back on it only because we we really wanted to try and scale our merch by amazon uh and i hate saying business man um but program um <laughs> and i but, guess uh, well, sorry i wanted to go back to like the merch university mm -hmm. part because you're doing a daily vlog so every single day daily you're vlog. uploading well, uh, Monday, called? Monday through Friday, I am. Okay, okay, Monday through Friday, and how's that been? That's been really good. A bit really good uh, response, and um, pretty much people are just out there hungry for merch, you know, pretty much. And so I just thought, because I was thinking, well, I can make tutorial videos, and I still make those, but I was like, I want to put something out, you know, that every day people can, you know, relate to and just come check out because out of the, the one of the reasons I did that is because I watch a lot of just vlogs like people's vlogs on YouTube a lot every day mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. so I was like I'm going to make a merch vlog and it's just going to be all about merch so that's kind of how that developed and you just kind of I mean you update people with like merch news and your sales and right yeah, stuff like that pr pretty much daily sales I'll come on and be like you know hey uh you know, this is my daily sales for the day and you know kind of tell them what's going on and like I might even give them um a niche or whatever I'm like hey you know check this out you know I, I sold in this area I want you to check it out and so I, I give away all kinds of stuff so okay cool cool how, how many how many subscribers you have now um I probably have like 560 okay so for those of you guys listening uh, and I know there's a lot of you guys out there um, go check out merch university on YouTube uh, we want to get his subscription numbers up so um so you said you give out a lot of is, is it niche or niche i i, I can never niche, understand i don't know how to, yeah what's either a good niche? word either way um i just try to when somebody comes to watch i try to give out some useful information that they can take back and use you know we can give we can actually probably give out our top niche, niches right now and the, but you know it's That's up to them to take it's up to them to take action you know so i mean okay. We can so, give out so, something, you know what I'm saying? So, 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 what's a good niche? Um, right now is the most shirts that I'm selling in is the family niche. Right now, I'm selling a bunch of like aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters. You know, you never. My next shirt is actually probably going to be uh, my crazy friend Young. You know, so. <laughs> Yo, that one that one's gonna sell out, man. It's gonna be a top seller. I know it. Uh, if you were fact, my cousin, it would be like my crazy. This is my crazy, uh, my favorite crazy cousin. You know. So okay, yeah. that's that's gonna be a top. I'm seller. selling the I'm selling the heck out of those shirts. So yeah. Okay. And partial royalty go to Young. Twenty per, twenty percent. Exactly. Nah, he's, his name. he's gonna keep all the royalties. <laughs> and so I I think that's like. Because, okay, when I started, man, you couldn't get any information out of nobody. And I was like a newbie. <laughs> and I was like, man, can't you just tell me something? I mean, just a hint, you know? And, and so uh, pr pretty much I would say the newbies right now, you you're, say you're a newbie. You're out there listening to this show. Uh, when I was a newbie, it's like two different worlds. Because you have every – you have all these podcasts that the merch minds are doing. You have every – all these, like, I don't know, maybe like five or six or ten um, – Merch groups you can join. There's so many merch videos out there now. I mean, like, there's, there's so tons. much information. I mean, like, you listen to all those. Oh my God, you're gonna be tier two thousand. You know, no problem. <laughs> tier eight thousand. You know. Well, I, I think. I mean, you can you can watch all the videos. You can join all the groups. You know, you can <laughs> listen to all the uh, podcasts. But I think your the best thing you can do is really just. Uh, uh, experiment try and learn as much as much as you can exactly. and really just try and think outside the box i mean just because there's a niche you can you know i mean well what, what can i add to this niche you know um i think uh john from rules for rebels you know he he said it last week you know he com he combines 
niches, right? Like camping with drinking and things like that. You know, so you can. It's just, just it's just really having to uh, just think outside the box. And um, I mean, I haven't done what John said, uh, but that's something that I definitely want to get into. I even gave a. I even. Um, I think if you join my Merch University Facebook page on the pin post, there's there's a place where I give away like top 15 niches right there i mean so awesome i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sign up for that yeah nice. so. and and joe so like ever since you joined what's your like lifetime um i guess royalties look like since you've joined what have you made in total oh total um let's see here last year was terrible i mean from the freeze <laughs> you know <laughs> From the freeze, you know, I was when I first I would just start it last year, so I would say I only made like a thousand dollars last year. Okay. And so, and this year, I made like a thousand dollars the first couple of months of this year already. So, I mean, but right now I probably made like three or four thousand dollars this year. Okay. So. That's not bad, man. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, it's growing. You know what? I it's, think it's slowly growing, and that's the thing, right? People think, yeah, you know, they're gonna get into merch, and you know, they're gonna start making money immediately. It it takes time. It really does. This is kind of I, funny, but I had someone email me and they're like, they're like, Glenn, I just uploaded my first design yesterday. And I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this design is so sick. Why hasn't it sold yet? And I'm like, you know, it's been 24 hours, right? <laughs> and one design, like, yeah. And they're like, yeah. Glenn, should I, like, should I worry? Should I be paying for ads? Um, why hasn't this sold yet? What do I do? Mm -hmm. Or should I just be patient? <laughs> yeah, just be <laughs> patient. You know, should I well, just be so, patient? So, so, I mean, just based on what you said, Glenn, there's, there's two things. Uh, first, uh, I think most people know that by now that uh, the 10 and the 25 tier is by far the hardest. Yeah. Those two tiers are by far the hardest. And just because you say that your design is sick, you know, you think it's the best design, that's your own opinion. I would go ask, I would get a couple of um, other people's feedback. Yeah. Like I can design something. I could be like, yo, man, this is the best design ever. And if <laughs> I ask four people, four other people, they're like, yo, that sucks. Well, then that tells me I got, I got, you know, I have to redesign it now. So yeah. definitely get other people's opinions. I sold a, um, a shirt, the shirt on Sunday. I uploaded it like at two and it sold by like 5 p.m. 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. I sold the shirt. Nice. Yeah, you you know what that shirt said? It said, "My uncle is my guardian angel." That's all it said. Text based. Did it on my phone. Uploaded it. Spit it out. That sold in three hours. I think. Well, what That's I like awesome. about that is because of the idea too. Yeah. See, so, I'm telling yeah. you, the, 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 I'm telling you, the family niche is like blowing up, guys. Yeah. You know, get in there, man. I just I just gave that to you guys. You know, I mean, that's just <laughs> that's just how much I love merch minds. You know. There you go. Yeah. There you go, man. Uh, but hey, Joe, it's been a pleasure having you, man. Uh, I always, always enjoy talking to you. Uh, I mean, feel free to come by anytime. Um, before you go, again, just remind the listeners of where they can find you on YouTube. How can they get in contact with you? You know, uh, plug plug yourself. All right, you can uh, join my. Uh Facebook group Merch University. Actually, when you sign in, it's it's gonna make you say, "Why do you want to join this merch group?" That's to keep the lurkers out, the people who don't participate. And then you gotta it's then join my uh, YouTube Merch University uh, uh, YouTube channel, and then you can contact me at merchuniversity at gmail .com. There you go. All right, Glenn, you have any uh, final questions for Mr. Clay? No, we're really, really good. Good interview, and I think we're set. So everyone can go to this channel, subscribe now, and start learning, right? We'll see you guys later. All right. Thanks, Joe. Joe Clay, thank you for being on the show, uh, talking about your whole experience and journey on Merch by Amazon. We really want you to come back and talk to us here in the next several months. Um, what do you think, man? cool guy and <laughs> it just felt like a really cool hangout with with joe like it went smooth we're just you know just talking to see what he does and i think really really good valuable info um for a lot of maybe like the newbies out there that want to know how to just get started on something 
Yeah, I know a lot of newbies get frustrated, you know, and um, I personally never designed any shirts on a phone. And even if I could, I, I don't think I could just do it. But um, um, I mean, Joe is definitely um, he, he's an inspiration for those who, who are uh, who are having issues with coming up with ideas and how to do designs. Um, reach out to Joe. I'm sure, you know, he's, he's always willing to help. So uh, I'm sure if you guys reach, reach out to him, he'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, anything else before we go? Um, any news or anything that we should be covering? I don't think so. I don't think we got any other updates. I think it was a pretty smooth uh, week. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anything else. Uh, so thanks guys for listening to the show. And this episode was also brought to you by Merch Informer the number one research program for merch by Amazon. You can do niche research by BSRs, keywords, and even by merchant brand names. Uh, merchant Former was designed to help streamline your research process and help organize your ideas. Head over to merchantformer.com for a free three-day trial. And after that, it's just $19.99 per month. Merchinformer.com. Go right now. All right, go check him out, guys. Um, otherwise, hey, you are going to Phoenix this weekend. Yeah, tomorrow. You're looking, you're looking good, man. You got you got yourself a nice little haircut. Thank you, sir. Got a little haircut. Yeah, I actually showered today, so that also helped. Okay, okay. You taking the wife with you, right? Yeah, I'm taking the wife. <laughs> good man. Good man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, hey, <laughs> uh, I think you're brave going to Phoenix in the middle of summer. I did that <laughs> once and I promised myself I would never do that again. I know um, it's like one thirteen right now. Oh, gosh, I know. you're a better man than me. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, have a good time. Report back to us Thank uh, you, sir. Uh, next week when you get back from Phoenix. Until then, guys, have a wonderful week and we really, really wish you guys much success. See you.